Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For today's video we're going to be taking a look at the first release in the all new Transformers Legacy 2022 Amazon exclusive Wrecker subline, that being Twin Twist, of course inspired by his original Diaclone appearance. Now like many of you guys, I in fact actually wasn't able to pick up this mold first time round when it was originally released as part of the Titans Return toy line, so I'm in fact super glad to be able to be given a second opportunity in in fact actually owning this, and in my opinion the Diaclone colour scheme is in fact a lot lot better when in comparison to how he actually appeared on show. Now much like some of the previous retro headmaster reissues that I took a look at towards the beginning of last year, very late 2020, this figure is essentially just a direct re-release of some of those Titans Return figures that we saw I believe around 2016, 2017, but we all know how much this guy does go on the aftermarket so I'm almost certain that there'll be many collectors out there like myself who are in fact glad to be given a second shot of owning this guy in the collection. Now we'll get stuck straight into it, first of all here we have the Headmaster. This has been painted super nicely. It's great to see how Hasbro appeared to have perfected the paint apps, especially where the head sculpt is concerned. You can see the visor looks awesome, and the articulation is standard for these Headmasters. So we do get ball joints here at the shoulders, hinge joints for the hips, as well as there for the knees. And he can, in fact, actually be inserted into the cockpit, albeit very difficult to, in fact, actually get a hold of. So you just simply want to lift this section up. Now, originally, I did expect this tab to port into this section. However, sadly, if you are to do that, the actual cockpit itself won't close up so you kind of have to put the headmaster at a slight angle it does kind of rattle around in there but then we can just close that up and you can see it actually looks pretty decent being stored away inside but overall a very very nicely done looking vehicle mode of course we've got those twin twist drills here at the front which have been fully decked out in a wicked metallic silver it would have been awesome had these been able to in fact actually rotate but very nice looking sculpt work I think the sculpt work across the board for this guy looks impeccable and the shade of blue they've used for the plastic looks wicked despite this literally being plastic and having barely any blue paint on it I think for the most part it's turned out really nicely you can see some of those classic diaclone colors such as the red and yellow here for what will become the knee pads they look great as well as the metallic silver guns here along the side of course you could detach them and probably peg them into those slots however personally I just think that sort of orientation looks a little better and then as we take a look here at him here from a side perspective you can once again see a very very nice gunmetal gray actually used here for the treads which too have been sculpted super nicely now this guy does have four caster wheels here on the base so you can see one either side here of the treads and then two here at the back he can roll pretty decently along the ground it would have been super awesome had when you actually rolled this guy along the ground the drills actually move simultaneously with the rotation of the wheels but of course we're dealing with a more recent figure and not one of the classic almost 2010 eras where we would have undoubtedly seen some form of gimmick like that now in regards to transformation considering that it is a titan's return mold it's pretty simplistic so first of all you're just going to want to remove the headmaster we can then just collapse the legs down set this here off to the side for now and then what i personally like to do is come here to the rear section just detach these here and extend those knees all the way out we can then proceed to flip out what will become the foot section and then just collapse these panels in just like so. You'll then want to take the treads, ratchet these here out to the sides and disengage this section here. We can then come to the top, hinge out the shoulders, rotate the cockpit up and then take these drills, fold those in, hinge this section down. And a piece of engineering which definitely took me by surprise is that essentially this entire torso plate does in fact completely rotate all the way around. I thought that was great engineering, especially considering that this is a pre War for Cybertron trilogy mold. And then you'll just want to lock that into place, rotate here at the waist. I also thought the engineering where the arms was concerned too was genius. So you're going to want to flip that flap out, extend the elbow joint and then flip out the wrist, take the tread, ratchet that there to the back, and of course, rinse and repeat the exact same process here for this side. So flip out the wrist, extend the elbow joint, collapse that down, rotate the tread just like so. And then we can bring back in the headmaster and just snap that section in there. And there we have the legacy twin twist fully transformed up into his pretty awesome looking robot mode. As mentioned previously, this mold was originally released, I believe around about 2016, 2017, and still holds up pretty damn well in 2022, especially when compared next to some of the more recent legacy and war for Cybertron figures. Now, as we delve in and take a closer look at this guy, as mentioned previously, I never in fact actually owned the original mold. So this is the first time I'm kind of experiencing what's going on here. And from what I can tell, this is just a direct repaint of that original figure. Perhaps the head sculpt is slightly different, but you can see See the colors just look absolutely fantastic as we just bring this head in here for a closer look 
you can see we've got a really, really nice metallic silver used there for the mouth guard, as well as these super awesome, almost all spark blue eyes. I really do think they look fantastic. And as we take a look here at the torso, I think the sculpt work looks fantastic, as well as some of the silver and gunmetal highlights. And I love the fact that they have indeed actually stamped on the Wrecker insignia. That is such a nice touch. They could have simply just left this an Autobot logo, but definitely glad to see the difference in regards to where the top section is concerned. As we take a look here at the shoulders, much like we saw in the vehicle mode, we've got those classic yellow and red diaclone colors, which I think look absolutely fantastic. You can see how the blasters do become almost pistols here for Twin Twist in bot mode. They do in fact actually combine, which I'll showcase in just a second, but very, very nicely painted. And then as we just come down here to the lower section, you can see the sculpt work for the most part looks pretty decent. As we turn him here to the side, a little bit of kibble where the shoulders are concerned, but to be honest, doesn't look too bad at all. Now, the only area of where personally I would have loved to have seen some refinements made to the mold would be in regards to articulation. This guy definitely does feel super dated when in comparison to some of our more recent figures, but it's still not bad by any stretch of the imagination. So we do see a ball joint here at the head, which can look up and down as well as tilt side to side, rotate the full 360. We do get a hinge joint here at the shoulder due to transformation as well as ball joints, which can rotate also, the full 360 hinge out to the side. We do get full rotation at the bicep, double joint at the elbow, which is fantastic. Sadly, no form of wrist rotation, but due to the way it transforms, I can kind of see how that would have been near enough impossible. We do see a full waist rotation with this figure, and the hips are on ball joints, so it can kick forwards that far, back that far, out to the side, rotation at the thigh, as well as a 90 degree bend there at the knee, and that is pretty much it here for Twin Twist. Sadly, no form of ankle rocker pivot, which really is the only area of where I think this guy in comparison to some of our more recent figures. Now, in regards to some of the weapon orientation, of course, you can keep them as almost dual blasters for Twin Twist, or we can, in fact, actually take them and combine them into what can only be described as an almost War for Cybertron video game looking weapon. That looks fantastic. You can see we've now got a quadruple blaster and I really do love the way this looks. Sadly, there doesn't appear to be any ports of where you can in fact actually take the headmaster and peg this into this section like we've seen with some of those previous Titans Return figures, but nevertheless, still a pretty decent looking weapon. And you can also take both of the handles, port them into either of the hands, and have this massive looking blaster, almost 2007 Movie 1 Megatron-esque in design, and definitely having blasting away at the enemy Decepticons. Now, turning to a very quick size comparison, unfortunately, as mentioned previously, I really did miss out on quite a few of those original Titans Return releases, and sadly, have recently put some of those retro reissue headmasters into storage. So these are really the only size comparisons of which would kind of give you an indication of how this guy scales. So of course, compared here to the Netflix Deluxe B, Substantially bigger like many of the other deluxe releases and here we have him alongside the Legacy Blaster and he's in fact actually quite a big deluxe for today's standards when actually holding him the plastic all feels great and he is indeed actually quite a big decent sized figure. And here for some bonus footage here is the reverse transformation from robot back into vehicle mode. And so, some final thoughts for this Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wrecker subline Twin Twist. Overall, I think this is a fantastic figure. As mentioned previously, Twin Twist is by far one of the most elusive original Titans Return figures to in fact actually pick up on the aftermarket. He goes for astronomical prices, so I am definitely glad to see a reissue, and a reissue in what I personally believe to be the superior colour scheme. Despite this being inspired by his Diaclone appearance, and not how we actually saw him in the animation, I think the blue looks fantastic. The blue 
plastic is great as so is the red and some of those red and yellow paint apps that we've actually got scattered throughout the figure personally I really do think make certain areas of this guy pop I think the headmaster looks fantastic the vehicle mode looks awesome he's by far one of the better Titans return molds that I've so far reviewed over on the channel and I think the weapons too have been painted fantastic and I do love how they can combine in order to form that quadruple blaster as mentioned previously I would have loved it if Hasbro maybe could have taken this ever so slightly further and perhaps actually retooled some of the components most notably would be where the lack of ankle rocker pivot does lay but due to transformation I think that more or less would have been pretty impossible to do without completely jeopardizing the way this guy does convert so for what he is that being just a simple repaint slash reissue of a pre-existing figure I definitely think he's one of the better ones out there I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below what do you guys think in regards to this wrecker subline do you plan on adding any of these figures to the collection will you indeed actually be picking up this particular twin twist and like myself were you unable to acquire the original version and will be going out of your way to pick up this guy i'd love to hear your thoughts down below and as always i thank you guys all so much for watching until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching